please join us in our prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed evening to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is, the, it, today is Friday of the second week of Easter. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Anthony Inson S.V.D. Our celebration and devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus will now begin. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we continue our celebrations in the Easter season, in the Gospel today, we will once again hear about the multiplication of the loaves, of how Jesus looked and was sensitive at the needs of the people following Him, and how He did not just give them nourishment, but eventually promised us that He Himself will be our spiritual nourishment. Now for us to become less unworthy as we celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first of all call to mind our sins. We beg the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, in Your generosity, You have re removed our sins by Your sacrifice on the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ Jesus, you are a model of our salvation. May we follow in your footsteps. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, the Judas appeared claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do to do with this man and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them you may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer this honor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and pro proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. That I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that they had been more that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of our Salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us use a little imagination to reread the gospel. What if Jesus' question were, Where will we get something to eat? Medyo mas restricted. Hindi yung saan natin sila Anong ipapakain natin sila? Where will we get something to, to eat? And surprisingly, the answer of Andrew will be the same. Lord, merong bata dito. And I, pro I suppose, nagbibenta yung bata. Kasi hindi tayo, we're not talking about pandesal. The size of pandesal. He was bringing five loaves. What will a boy do with five loaves following Jesus? So, ang sagot ni Andrew, Lord, merong bata dito, nagbebenta o may limang loaves at dalawang isda. Ni-reserve ko na po. Tamang-tama, o. Oh, labing dalawa kami, tapos ikaw, Kitig kakalahati tayo doon sa tinapay at yung dalawang malaking isda, tamang-tama na sa atin. Siguro sabi ng Panginoon, o bakit hindi mo pa binili? Ay sa 5,000 na tao nito, sigurado tayong walang magbibigay? Come on. Hintayin muna natin, baka may magbigay. Pero kung walang magbigay, meron na akong naka-reserve doon sa nagbebenta. Sabi ko sa kanya, reserve na yung five loaves and two fish. To their amazement, Jesus asked a different question. How will we feed these people? At sagot agad ni Philip ay, Panginoon, kulang ang dalawang daang saot para sa pagkaing ibibili para sa kanila. And Andrew, who was already prepared with his answer, just the same gave the answer that he thinks is not appropriate to the question. Panginoon, nag-reserve na po ako ng limang tinapay at dalawang isda. But, he added, what is that to so many people? 
And Jesus said, Let them recline, took the bread and fish, and said a prayer. I got this from Cardinal Tagle, and he pulls our attention to the prayer kapag walang kumakanta, the prayer before the consecration. The prayer goes, Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Saan ito galing? Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. If you look at the elements, creation, God, and the work of human hands. And when people cooperate with creation under the blessings of God, the produce will be offered to become our bread of life. If we remember during the pandemic, nag-usbungan, nagsulputan yung mga tinatawag nating food pantries. And that was about the situation of creation. May virus na kumakalat, may biyaya ng kabutihang binibigay ang Panginoon, at may mga taong sa kanilang response sa kabutihang ito, naglabas ng galing sa kanilang mga tahanan. Creation, God, and the work of human hands. And when this, with this beautifully cooperate with each other, remember that feeling nung nakikita nating maraming natutulungan ang ating mga food pantries. That is the essence of the Eucharist. Yung maramdaman natin na nabubuhayan tayo kahit na hindi sapat yung pagkain sa bahay natin, kahit na hindi perpekto ang mundo at may kumakalat na virus, basta biniyaan ng Panginoon ang magandang samahang ito, we will experience the bread of life. Dear friends, the apostles were tempted to look at human limitation. The apostles were initially tempted to simply restrict themselves to human survival. Panginoon, labing dalawa tayo, limang tinapay, dalawang isda, hindi na ako naghanap kasi tama na iyon para sa atin. When selfish human desires is combined with selfish human limitation and the refusal to cooperate with creation and to each other, that is the complete opposite of what Eucharist is. Ulitin ko yung dasal natin sa misa. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands limited as we are imperfect the world as it is but when you bless us we will gain the bread of life may we appreciate what god has given us may we see the world and our situation as god sees it and when we allow the blessings of god to be upon us we will celebrate the bread of life that is all stand. In the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 people, our Lord shows us the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good things He can provide us and He can provide through us. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of the church may show the same compassion that prompted Jesus to feed the hungry crowd. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that Christians may imitate the young boy and share what they possess with the underprivileged. 
We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people may find Christ as the satisfaction for their thirst and hunger. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive physical and spiritual help from those who care for them. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, hear the prayers of your people gathered to offer and receive your eternal gift, your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, O let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the to me and drink. I will pour my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Pray, dear friends, that this our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with all apostles and saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now call to God our loving Father in the manner Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to each other the sign of peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Jesus' words of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Jesus' love. Take home. 
Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are to receive him in this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
adore you, our Savior and our King, and with the saints and angels, our humble humage bring, O Sacrament most holy, O Devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Image of Divine Love. Lord Jesus Christ, through the image of your heart, you have revealed your overwhelming love for us. We honor your divine love. You were driven by it. You, the eternal word of the Trinity, took the form of a slave to be recognized in your manner and bearing as really human. We respect that holy love which inflamed and spurred you to proclaim your Father to the world, to do His will always, to offer yourself as a pleasing sacrifice to God the Father for our salvation, and to consider us worthy of your service. We honor your human love which you experienced while living as a man among us when you were thrilled with joy because you were filled with the Holy Spirit, when you were plunged into sorrow, great enough to break your heart. And so we know that, although you are God and eternal love, you love your Father with a human heart as well, and you love people as your own brothers and sisters. Grateful and full of confidence, we surrender ourselves to you, since we are sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature can separate us from God's love for us, which is in you, O Lord. You promised streams of living water to those who come thirsting and drink. See our joy as we drink saving waters from your font. This is the source from which we are filled with grace and every blessing from heaven. Grant us the great gift of your love, which is poured forth in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Inspired by the Spirit, may we better understand how deeply you want to be loved by us with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. With your help, may we follow your new commandment, the law to love all, so that everyone will know from this that we really are your disciples. Your love impels us not to live for ourselves, but for you, because you died for us and rose again. We are as tools in your hands, serving your sacred ministry of proclaiming to every nation in the world the good news from God. With the word, the Almighty can accomplish immeasurably more than we could ask for or even dream of. Glory to him in his church, in you, Lord Jesus, and in all peoples through endless ages. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, we present to the merciful heart of Jesus our needs and intentions.
May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief banish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. Amen. Amen. given them bread from heaven, alleluia. Containing in itself all sweetness, alleluia. Let us pray, O God, when this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so as to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption, you who live and rule forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, As the beginning, it was in the beginning, is now, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. 